Jasper, come on, go, go, go. Living well is a, is a great thing. I think that we all need to be focused on our health. Uh, you know, it's our responsibility to make sure that uh, we're gonna be around for our kids, you know, in, over the next 10, 20, 30 years of your life as you start to get older. Um, it's, it's important that you take care of yourself uh, so you can be around. It's been amazing to watch how Mike has completely changed his body, his life, and we didn't realize how overweight he was until we see him now and in good shape. And it's, I don't know what the trigger point was for Mike, but I know that one day he either saw a picture, he got on the scale, I don't know, but he said, I am not going to do this anymore. I saw some pictures where I was looking pretty heavy and uh, it was really, it was actually on my birthday uh, May 20th of last year, I, I came home from a, a business trip, got on the scale, and uh, was as close to 300 pounds as I'd ever been. I'd like to say that I haven't actually crossed over 300, weighed 299, um, but it shocked me because I'd never been that heavy. It was about 10 pounds heavier than really I'd ever been. From that moment on, I've been, I've been living this, this lifestyle. I thought there, how can he do this on the road going out to eat with all of the unhealthy choices? But what he's taught me is that there are so many great healthy options that are so good at restaurants and they're really starting to adapt that into their menus a lot more than they used to. When you travel, that means you're eating out a lot. Whenever you eat out, you don't know what's going into any meal that's prepared. So there's a lot of um, unknowns, whether it be the sugars and different things that are in the sauces that are put in. but you can consume a high calorie meal and not even know it. You can consume a salad that you think is great, but has almost a thousand calories with the dressings and everything else that you put onto it. So it's about making good choices, because um, you're gonna be out with people who make bad choices, who, who order a big fried appetizer, and you, and you have to have the discipline not, not to have any of that. With Mike, which, which is so impressive, is that he doesn't, have a gym membership. He doesn't, he's not, he's just your average guy. And I think that's the most motivating thing about looking at him is that if he can do it, I can do it. I only do about 10 to 30 minutes of exercise really uh, a day, but I do it every day. I do it, you know, if I'm not doing push ups and sit ups, um, I'll be out walking the dog or um, I'll be doing a video that I can have on my laptop. All of the exercise that I do, I can do it at my home, I can do it on the road in the hotel room, I can do it wherever I'm at. When you start incorporating those healthy, th those just healthy habits in your life, you just feel better. You're just a happier, better, well-balanced person in everything. I get customers who are shocked who maybe haven't seen me for eight or nine months. One of them said something like, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but you look really good. I feel good, I, I, I feel, um, you know, I look, a lot better than I did, and uh, I, I'm gonna. My, my goal is to keep on this plan, to keep being healthy. I'm, I'm excited about living a healthy lifestyle.